How's it? Today we are learning Google Spreadsheets and how to organize lists. Uh, it is a rainy day here in Korea, which uh, reminds me, why does Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? For drizzle! Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I like watching NBA games. Uh, maybe some of you guys do too. Uh, why don't we go to ESPN.com uh, forward slash MBA and in that site um, you will see at the top it'll say uh, teams go ahead and choose your favorite team if you don't have a favorite team choose your favorite city for mine it's the Dallas Mavericks I'm a diehard Mavericks fan long live Dirk Nowitzki uh, what we're going to do is go to their schedule. Now, don't use the Dallas Mavericks. That's my team. You pick your own team, so don't pick them. Uh, go to their roster, and in their roster, we are going to copy uh, them. So start at the NO, the number, and go ahead and click and copy down, and then go to your uh, new spreadsheet. So I can go new spreadsheet here. And what you're going to do is just uh, click on A1, which is right here, and Command V and paste. Uh, now, if you noticed, see the height? It didn't paste the height incorrectly. That's because it thought it was a date. So, for example, if I put 7 dash, what is today, 21, okay, it's going to think it's a date. Well, it's not a date, Google Docs. So, we got to tell it that. So remember before it was in column E, okay? So we are going to, to highlight column E and go to format number and we're gonna say, hey, it's just plain text. Don't do automatically, don't think you know what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go back to A1, hit Command V and notice the height now stays uh, how it, we want it to. Now if you notice, uh, some of the names and things are different. So what you can do is uh, put your cursor right in between the two, like A and B, and double click. And it will auto size each of these according to uh, the width. So let's just go ahead and do that. And just like so. And um, we can go ahead and name it. Um, just name it spreadsheet tutorial list is fine. And okay, next. Um, as you can see, these are our header. I'm gonna hit Command B to make those bold so we can see them better. Um, also, if you want to zoom in a little bit more, which I'm gonna do, you can hit Command plus sign and it will zoom it in a little bit more. So it's a little bit easier to read. So I do highly recommend doing that. So what you're gonna do is uh, highlight all of our information. Uh, and by the way, we don't need these other rows. So if you want, you could just click and highlight to Z, control click and delete them. So we can get them out of our way. You can also do the same for all the uh, ones below it. But there's a lot, <laughs> so you may not want to, but because it goes all the way to a thousand. Um, so I'm gonna hit delete. You can also add more rows here at the bottom instead of adding a thousand. So here I have only uh, my guys that are on my team. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, if there's some guys who don't have information, that's um, you can go ahead and delete those. So to delete them, uh, click on the number of the row and delete row, and you can do that for all guys who don't have complete information. Okay, and this team just signed that guy, so that's why he doesn't have a salary, but we're going to delete him because if he's not getting paid, he's not really getting the money. If you see guys that don't have college, that's because they didn't really go to college, which I don't recommend, but for these guys, it worked for them. Um, now with your information, you're going to highlight all of your information, and we're going to use a filter. So uh, go to Data and Filter. And now you'll see you can filter your information. Uh, so for example, see how they're all jumbled together? Let's say I wanted to find all of my point guards. Okay, So I can go here and I can choose to um, clear. Okay, So now none are selected. And then I can just click point guard. Okay, 
And actually, let's check, select all the guards. So point guard, anything with a G is a guard. Uh, so those are my guards. So notice S, G, and P, G. So now I'm looking at only my guards. Now, all those other rows are still there. As you can see, it's one, five, six, those are the rows. All the other ones are kind of hidden. So um, what you're also gonna do is uh, you're gonna add yourself as a guard uh, because you were not six foot tall. So go ahead and hit add one. And then go ahead and put in information for yourself. So for number, you can do a number um, that hasn't been taken. Um, by the way, you can hit uh, clear and hit OK. And select all. OK, so now we can see everybody. So to put yourself as a guard, uh, I like number three. I like to shoot threes, and that's not taken. Um, and I'm going to put my name. And I'm going to be, just either put, uh, I'm going to be a PG point guard, or you can put SG. And age, uh, I forget my age. I'll be Brandon Wright's age. <laughs> I'm close to that. Uh, height, I am 5-8. And weight, 172. And college. Um, by the way, if you don't know your height, like if you know it in centimeters, you can just go into uh, Google and you can just um, put like five foot eight inches to um, centimeters or opposite if you're like 175 centimeters to feet. And then you can Google search um, the equation for that. You can also do the same thing for weight. Um, if you feel uncomfortable putting weight, you can just make something up. College, uh, went to Liberty. And salary, I wanna get paid. Seven million, that'll, that'll be enough for me. All right, so I'm done adding myself in uh, for that. So let's go ahead and filter now um, and show clear, select only our point guard and shooting guard, okay. And notice I'm selected here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate our that sheet. So what you can do is here we have a sheet one, okay? Uh, we're gonna call that all, because this is like um, all the players, and we're gonna say duplicate. And then we're gonna call that guards, because those are my guards, okay? So what it happened is we just duplicated uh, all that information, and here I'm gonna switch that to select all, and now we're back to normal. But if you go back to our guards, it only shows our guards. So if you wanted, you could do that to show only guards, point guards, and so on. And you can put as many of those as you want in it. You um, also go ahead and change your color to a different uh, color that you want. So there I had blue. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is sort. Go in here and say format number and say, hey, this is a number, okay? But we don't want it to be uh, uh, decimals okay so we're gonna choose more formats uh, custom number format and we're gonna take off uh, the decimals so and the dot so hit apply so now they're numbers so now let's go in here and go to format sorry data sort range and data has had a row so it's first by position Z to A add another then by number A to Z and hit sort because we want to know who's getting paid a lot of money. Now let's do a conditioning statement and let's do it for salaries. We want to see who gets paid a lot of money. So go to uh, format, conditioning, formatting, and we're going to say if the um, if they get paid okay, greater than Okay, let's say uh, greater than 10 mil. Okay, so put 10 and then 000, 000 comma 000. That's a lot of money. Okay, so for everyone that has 10 mil, we're going to uh, change uh, the text color and you can choose the color of your choice. Uh, try to make it those color that you like. Okay, so I'm going to make that blue. So I'm going to hit 
uh, save rule. So now notice Chandler Parsons getting paid a lot, uh, Tyson Chandler's paying a lot, but I'm not in that range because I'm not over $10 million. Now if your guys have nobody <laughs> over $10 million, uh, you can reduce that to $5 million and then get everyone who's above five. But there's only a few teams like that, maybe the 76ers. Um, okay, so that's a conditioning statement. We just sorted our rows. Uh, we learned how to make duplicate uh, tabs. Uh, what you're gonna do is, um, also if you need to wrap a row, let's say uh, these guys' names were really long and see how it cuts it off. If you click on these and choose wrap text, okay, it wraps it for it uh, and makes it so you can read it. Um, otherwise, you can just resize and make it bigger and it won't get cut off. Okay. Um, but what I want you to do is wrap the text for one guy or two guys. So make it smaller so that one or two guys fills it and it wraps. So I know that you know how to wrap it. Okay, we are going to be showing the highest paid players. So hit duplicate. And in this, we're going to put um, highest. And we're going to sort these. Okay, so click them all. And, and you're going to go to data, sort range, data as header rows, the last one, salary, and A to Z. Um, choose Z to A because we want to opposite the highest first. So um, all of these other guys, let's hide. So just click on all of these, control click, and hide those rows. So these are the top three paid players. Now, um, go ahead and hit the plus sign. Okay, and we're going to put in... Uh, just type in highest paid players created by your name and these are going to just be uh, references now. So you can put equals and go to highest paid player and that's okay. And you're going to click on Tyson Chandler, just his name, okay? And you're going to hit enter. And how much is he going to be paid? Equals and go to highest and you can stop telling me that and just click on that and okay. So notice it's getting paid and how much it, he is being paid. Now, the cool thing about this is you can change. Let's say Tyson says, hey, I'm gonna take a pay cut. I don't want that much money anymore. Well, if this number changes, okay, so let's say instead of 14, he's gonna get 12, um, or actually, let's say he gets an increase, 15. Hit enter. Notice here, that changed to 15 as well. So it's a reference, so that can be very valuable. So uh, for the next guy, equals, highest, uh, the next guy is Tyson Chandler, enter, okay. And actually, if we drag this down, notice it says Monte Ellis. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So notice that the formula automatically, if you drag it down, it drags down with that formula, and it will do that as well. So um, notice highest h3 h4 so when we drag a formula down it's going to drag down the number with it so those are highest paid players and you can resize it so that it fits a little bit better now what we're going to do is uh, let's say we get a they get a bonus okay so they get a bonus of 10% uh, bonus cuz mark cuban um, wants to make them happy okay um, but he really likes ten, uh, Chandler Parsons, so he's going to get him a 15% bonus. And Monte Ellis, he really likes him because he doesn't get paid much. Okay, so you can make up, um, do the same, 10, 15, 20, and then put equals, and let's do an equation. So let's say how much our bonus money would get this, okay, multiply the sign, multiply this, okay, and then we're going to add that. So if you just hit enter, you get okay that amount of money, that's the bonus money, but we're gonna get um, the bonus money that's added to the final contract. So we do this, and then plus the original amount he's gonna be paid. So we hit enter. So that's his new um, contract. And again, we can just drag that down, and uh, that is the same. So that's if we wanna get paid. Um, then let's say, oh, uh, if you don't score so many points, okay, we're going to take off a million dollars, okay? We're going to take off a million. So we can just put uh, one million dollars here. And let's just say that's for everybody. And 
say equals this and minus this, enter, and that's how much you get. And the title of that would be uh, if you don't score, <laughs> if you don't score points. Highlight three and hit Command B to bold. And so these are our um, information on uh, the new salaries. Uh, so that's it. And we can just put um, top three as our title. So that is how we do our salaries and our uh, lists. And just read the directions to see how to submit it.